keep my keep in mind what you hear already. Yeah. It, it does. It, 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 it's here for you in the resurrection. No, God gave us something to do here in, earth, in this world. First thing we got to repent and believe and be born again. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that's what God wants us all to do. Yeah. He said, come into my being here in labor. Once we get in the church, we got so I want us got something to do. In my little part, I like to do it as often as I can. And the brother need me. And I tell you this year, I'm getting awful forgiveness. So oh, if man. I say something that's wrong, just look over me. Because the time has made a change in me. And I know one thing, I'm going, I got my eyes set on that beautiful place of children. And I bear it all my heart, I'm going to make it. And I believe maybe I'll see some of you all. Uh, God has blessed us to be out here today. And like I said, I'm very thankful. God bless. God very, bless. very thankful. I'm glad to see what's out here already. Yeah. Uh, I know we ain't got many on the shed, but got quite a few out there. Uh, but that, that, that numbers don't matter. We got one sinner in the crowd, and, and you hear the gospel priest, and you believe with all your heart, mind, and soul, and strength. Come up here and tell this brother. I'll ask you to church now. He said he would. Uh, then they should be saved. And now, if you want to be saved and you're a sinner here today, offer your sin to the Lord Jesus Christ. These brothers up here can't save you. They can tell you a way to get to, get to heaven. And there ain't but one way. That's right. By the Lord Jesus Christ. Us be the God of the Lord, born of his spirit. He said he added to the church down at See, and that should be saved, Brother Robbie. Yeah. And there's a people, uh, the people that should be saved is them with a broken heart and a contract spirit. Yeah. He said he had no way to turn you away. So today is the day of salvation. Right. We sit here and thank for all the people that you hear in these things here. Some of them were maybe were sitting here last year. Some of the cemeteries, they may have some people that were sitting in here last year. But we do know we're all born of God just like these have the earth is. Those. And we're going to go uh, to the grave, and after a while, the Lord is going to call, and we're going to get up. Sure, sure. We're all going to get up. All these people here are going to get up someday. And, and the way they went down is way they go, well, they get up, and, that, and wherever that they had chosen, chose in this life, they would have sworn to go. So we know today is the day of salvation. If you're sitting here today. But, but the words, let go down into a good and honest heart, and he'll raise you up from a dead state and alive. And he'll put you up on a king's highway. And, and I'll tell you, children, there's no other way to hell is that to them by Jesus Christ. He came into this world. He died for all of us. He rose again the third day, and he now sits on the right hand of God, making intercession for whosoever will. He said, let him come and take a the tree of life freely. It's freely. It don't cost yes. you nothing. Free I know yes. with some people say, oh, it's because I had to do this. I had to do this. I'm going to tell you, you have to do one thing. He said, repent. That's all we've got to repent, believe, and be baptized. And God said, and he'll add to the church. Yeah, then those should be saved. Then you should be saved then because you have did the works that the Lord wants you to do. Be begotten of God's work, born of his spirit, and added to the church. And that's what God wants you to do. Is humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. He said, resist the old devil. He will flee from you. He said, draw nigh to me. And sinners, he said, take your heart, your double mind, and be afflicted. More than weeks for, for, you know, some troubles will come up on us. I, I don't know. I seem like I got troubles every day. Uh, but I got, I got someone that comes into my life, and it cashes them things out. And I no more trouble than those things. <coughs> But maybe for another half an hour or so, the old devil was always around. He'd come back. He'd give me something else to, to cause you to be, uh, uh, think you're going, well, I'm going to hell. And he'll give you that mind. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. tell you one thing. Don't ever let nothing or nobody ever convince you that's where you're going. Because, see, you get your mind made up and let God bad you to this old church. 
and I want to tell you, children, there ain't but one way, and there ain't but one that can take you out of it. And if you want to live in this church, you can come in and live. But if you want to go to hell, then you can walk right back out the door right. you come in. Right. And I'm going to tell you, children, I wouldn't do bless that for nobody. Because, see, uh, God is a merciful God. He's a just a God. He's a God that gives us life. He, God gives us the air to breathe. He gives us, God, a little bit of knowledge to drive up here this morning. And I, I'm going to tell you, children, I'm very thankful to be in old, being the old church. It's been around for, oh, I don't know how many thousand years that the church has been here. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you, hey, people, I ain't the first one. There's been a lot of people come into the old church. <coughs> a lot of them buried out through these cemeteries out through here, on top of these ridges out through here. They're buried all over. And after a while, yeah. the Lord's going to call, and they're going to answer. Yes, Even yes. the daddy Christ is going to get up. The dead in sin is going to get up. And everybody's going to their own place. The place that you choose while you walk here on this serve. You choose this day whom you're going to serve. If you're going to serve the old devil, serve him with the best of knowledge you've got. You might get a better place in hell. I don't know. But I do know if you serve the Lord all the days of your life, and you're yes, old. <laughs> After a while, yes, you're, going to, you're going to go down just like all the rest of us. You're not going to get by with it. You don't have to live and say, I'm going to live, I'm going to live 75 years. No, you don't know how long you live. You might be a young person here today, but I'm going to tell you, you may be a dead one tomorrow. Because God, God don't give you no promises. Tomorrow a better day. And tomorrow is a, is a better life. But God told you the day is the day of salvation. Oh, if you hear his voice. Now I'm not saying you're going to hear some voice come down out of heaven and, and you'll hear that voice. Brother, Brother Clever, that voice is the preaching of the gospel. Now, that brother just preached it just now. If you hear those words, believe in him. Believe on him whom God so loved. He sent him into, the, into this world that he so loved us. That if you would believe in him, you should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you want everlasting life in that place, you're going to have everlasting life somewhere. And I'm going to ask you to get, a, get, in, the, get in the good old way and go up here in heaven where Jesus Christ did. He came down here and he gave his life that people like us can have eternal life. Believe it upon him whom God sent into the world. Because we have to believe in something we don't see with these eyes. But Christ is by faith. Faith is something hopeful. Uh, you got to have faith that Christ is right here under this, under this shed here today. He's walking around that sir. He's out there. He's in everywhere, God's children. And wherever that you go, you think, well, I'll do this and get by with it. No, I'm going to tell you. Well, before you go to bed every night, if you're doing something wrong that day, you better get down on your knee. Say, here I am, Lord. Forgive me. Don't ever be ashamed. Don't ever be ashamed to get down where you belong and say, Lord, Humble yourself, he said, for right. the mighty hand of God. Right. Get down here where you belong and say, Lord, here I am again. Yeah. I've done a lot of sinning today. Forgive me. He's he just from to get from the liberty. He, he loves us. God so loved us. That he sent his only begotten son yeah. into this world that whosoever would believe in him. Think about it. Think shall about not it. perish but have everlasting life. <laughs> I believe in him one day. And I'm going to tell you, children, I got him and the Father in here, and I'll never let him go, because you go all the way Amen. with me. Amen. And after a while, this old body lays down somewhere. I'm going to get up. And I'm going to a city built with that hands eternal in the heavens. It was built by <coughs> the Lord God. And he said, whosoever will, let him come. Come and take the water of life, really. He gave it. It don't cost you nothing, just... The way you live. If you live a good Christian life, God will love you to all your days of your life, and He'll take you up here. If you're a sinner and you don't get out of it, I'm going to tell you, God is going to say, Depart from me, you will love in iniquity. I never knew you. God wants to know you right here in this world. He wants to know what you stand for. If you stand for Him or the old devil, you've got to make a choice in this life. But I'm going to tell you, my. I had one way back, Hunter, and I tell you, I, I'm getting old, and I, I get forgetful, but I have to say this, too, and I am a big crybaby. I don't know. I cry a lot. God likes a humble person. 
Some of you said before, you might have had it by the point of the day's over. Get rid of that pride. He'll go home with you. God so loved you as much as he did me. He loves you so much. And he let his son die in your place. That's right. You don't have to die no more. You may have these old bodies to go to sleep and bury out here somewhere. But you won't die no more. God's got you placed up here on children. Just keep you pressing your claim. Go on. Yeah. Go on home. Yeah. Oh, time is coming, children. Coming up on all of us. I don't know how many people have been buried in these cemeteries this last year. But I, I say they've been some of them. And we're cemetery on this hill. It's probably added some been added to. But whenever time there's one added into these cemeteries, there's one that came out of the world. But I'm telling you, children, if you want to hope, get your hope in Christ. Don't get it, man. I can't do nothing for you except tell you where you where you can go if you just honor you honor the man that died for you that came down out of heaven and, and, and just gave his life. They just got they just laid his day down. I don't think they forced him down on that old cross. I think he just laid his hand down. Really, he said, I give. Yeah. That privilege you may have. He laid his hand down on that old cross and they nailed nail through it. And he raised him up between heaven and the earth. And he died right there, Cheryl. Cheryl, he said, Lord, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He just did do it that today. If you want to go to heaven, the Lord is begging for you. The Lord Jesus Christ is begging for you. He don't want nobody to go to hell. He wants everybody to go to heaven. That's why he died for you, so that we can all go to the same place when life's over. Yeah. Life's going to be over. We think, well, I'm young, and I don't, I'm don't. going to live another 50 years. No, you don't. <laughs> That, that's the old devil wants you to think yeah, things like yeah. that. You may not live 50 minutes. And I'm going to tell you something. You right. know, I, I asked the Lord just to let me live for him the rest of my life. It may not be that way. It may not be that way. I may not have a life. I may lose my mind. I may, I may, right. Something may right. happen to me. But I'll tell you one thing. If I've got a good mind, I'm going to serve the Lord all the days of my life. And when the day after a while, when he calls the children home, I'm going to raise up with him. And forever, I'm going to be in heaven with him. Amen. And I'm going to Amen. tell you, that's the hope you all can have. You don't have to wait till next week, next month, next year. Even my other preacher can tell you something different. I'm going to tell you, children. Just think about it when you start home tonight. You're sure. a sinner. Just think how much the Lord loved you. He had, he had one begotten son. God so loved you and me that he offered that son. <coughs> we gave him a sacrifice for every one of us that you won't have to die. You won't have to die. But I'm going to say this for you, man. It's something you're going to do. You're going to, have, you're going to die to your body. You don't want to stop coming to a graveyard like this. And you go to the place that you tell you to do this. I can see that a lot of people. I don't know, maybe it's I'm not old. I don't know what it is. But I didn't want to know one thing. I love the Lord. And I love you all. God chose me. I love everything else. And if you're a sinner here today, you don't have to be. You can go home on your day. Jesus in here, and he has said, I'll never leave you. Never never. You can never just think about that. And when you lay down and go to a place like this right here, he's right there.